Do you have to believe in your affirmations in order to manifest your desires? Do you have to conjure emotions and images? But especially, do you have to believe that what you are affirming is true? Well, the answer is in this video because to be honest, you guys, you can believe that they are true. You cannot believe that they are true. It won't matter. It will work anyway hello everybody my name is nia and you know let's just get into the video immediately and my animals are all over the place so here's the thing that you must understand about how the universe works the universe works on a quantum level so that indicates that you guys need to open your mind because i'm sorry but i see this pattern so much so many times of like take a side Pick a side, either it's black or white, either it's true or it's not true. This is contradictory. Guys, the universe is contradictory. Literally, one statement can be true and the opposite statement can be true. Quantum physics ex explains this. It depends on the observer. So you must face the fact that everything is true if you make it true for you so do you have to believe your own affirmations necessarily in order to manifest not at all however if you do believe it or you do feel good about your manifestation or in general you just feel good i tend to assume that most likely your manifestation are going to happen faster like neville stated feeling is the secret now Feeling or believing could be just, you know, I feel good today. I feel peaceful about it. Or could even be every single time that I say this affirmation, I just feel so good. Could be that. Or believing could be, I don't believe any of my affirmations are true. However, I do believe in the law. That could be believing. Or you could even just test the law, not believing that none of this is true and just affirm and think those thoughts and kind of like not feeling anything at all and it will manifest i have a video dedicated for all of you guys who still are in the process of this is contradictory this is contradictory to the teaching what is true what is not true i have a video that is entitled you are not doing anything wrong you need to stick into your head that nothing can prevent your manifestation from happening. I don't care. I wrote it down today in the community post. I don't care your circumstances. I don't give a damn about what you believe. I don't give a damn about your subconscious programs. I don't give a damn what people say, what other coaches are saying. I don't care if my informations are contradictory. Mark my words. One thing is certain, and this is my promise. You are going to get your manifestation if you stop saying what i'm doing wrong this is not true this is contradictory just accept that everything is true and because creation is finished and everything is true choose what you want to believe in or you want to try i did that i personally tried everything i tried all single techniques that i'm going to talk about it in all my videos i tried believing i tried feeling it i tried meditation i tried not believing i tried visualizing and then denying it i tried visualizing in first person visualizing in third person and i'm telling you the law has never disappointed me it worked all of these techniques has have worked for me maybe because i bought the pearl of great price like neville says which is nothing but i believe in the law and that's all that is to it so i'm going to give you practical advices because uh, sorry practical examples because you guys ask me so much about manifesting money uh, or success or financial freedom which i did great like i am the best at doing this so i'm going to create probably a series about manifesting money what um how money in my opinion react when you think about them and things like that but in order to remain on the topic of this video i want to give you this example of affirming so creating thoughts not even visualizing just creating thoughts without believing that those affirmations are true and get to the manifestation of your desires specifically for me it was about virality online and it was about you know gaining momentum and money 
Be because let me explain the story. I have been on YouTube for a long time, like a really long time uh, in the years. I I am a tarot reader, so I used to do tarot reading and things like that. And um, I b always believed that you have to put so much hard work. You have to have a certain camera. You have to speak in a certain way. You have to um, talk in a certain way. You cannot be yourself. You I had the belief that you could not earn money just by being yourself you always have to do something else and that was a very false premise to begin with so i started testing the law and i started saying all my videos are going viral all my videos are going viral and on top of that okay let me explain exactly what i did so you can understand where i'm coming from i started saying all my videos going viral and that's the only affirmation that i said however i wasn't thinking anything specific like i wasn't thinking youtube is going viral or tiktok is going viral i was just saying my videos are always going viral and i didn't affirm all day i used to say this affirmation just in the morning while i was taking my shower and i never believed in it like for me getting viral especially on youtube was something so far from what i thought was possible like i wasn't even allowing myself to believe that that could be possible but i wanted to test the law so i just say i i didn't believe in it at all and I just said, you know, all my videos are going viral. However, what happened is that the more I was repeating these thoughts, the more I felt really good about them. Like I wasn't conjuring an amazing emotion, like not at all. I wasn't visualizing. I didn't do for this specific manifestation. I didn't do anything at all because I did visualize and did the Neville techniques, the state, the state to walk into sleep for other manifestations. And that's why I talk about it in my videos. And you guys have so many information that you can collect because I, I tried everything. I tried all the techniques for virality online. I just affirmed. So that's another example for you guys. But I noticed that the more I was repeating the thought, the more I was having fun with it. So you could say I was feeling something. However, I wasn't conjuring. I, be I really believe that my videos are going viral. And I wasn't even trying so hard to create an emotion behind it. Not at all. I just kept affirming just you know, five minutes a day. That's all I did. And I just felt like it was a lot of fun to take a shower and be like, all oh, my videos are going viral. I make this amount of money a month. And, and then I started because I felt good about saying all my videos are going viral. So I thought, what is it that you really want? And I said, my true desire is that I want to speak like I'm a big talker. I love speaking. I love being a communicator. It's like, I just love it. And I thought, I want to make money just by being myself. I want to make money just by going on camera, experimenting and talk. I really want to talk. And so I added that to my affirmation. So the desire came naturally to me. And I just said, all my videos are going viral. I make this amount of money a month and I make it just by talking, being myself. And that's it. And I thought that that was impossible. I never thought that I could make money just by being myself, which is so sad to think about that part of me, that thought that I wasn't worthy to make a career or money just because I wanted to be myself. I, if I honestly think about my old self, I feel so much compassion to where I, to what I used to be. Because, oh my God, like if you feel in this way, guys, like... Oh my God, yes, you deserve to make money just because you are yourself. You do not have to pretend to be anyone else. Like, I feel so sad for my old self sometimes. Like, I feel compassion for it. And so what happened was I didn't thought about it. I didn't believe in the affirmation. However, I did believe in the law. That's something that because I was working on other manifestation and I was, and I, I just do, I just do believe in the law. So, but I didn't thought too much about this. Like, I was still making videos just because I... I had enjoy making videos. I love talking. I, I just enjoy it so much. And uh, I was just making them to feel happy on TikTok and on YouTube and on Instagram. And I never checked the views. I never checked the subscribers. I was just making them because I was having fun. I never, never checked. Like I couldn't care less who was watching my videos. Like, of course, I was caring about the people and I was caring about the comments, but I wasn't caring on how many views the videos were making. I couldn't care less. I've been there. Is It is horrible to check the 3D. I don't want to go to that state of consciousness ever again in my life. It made me so depressed and sad to check and to know the stuff about the algorithm. I was like, I don't want to do this ever again. I just want to put post videos and feel happy about it and knowing that everything is going to be fine. Hey, 
so sorry about that. So that's what I did, like legitimately, that's what I did. And then one morning, I just wake up out of the blue. My videos on TikTok were like 1 million and then another 1 million views and then 1 million views and then 100,000 views and it's just pop, 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 pop. And in a month, I was like more than 100,000 subscribers because it's not a long that I have TikTok. And I was like, whatever, what? And I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe it so strongly that I was like, it must be easier on TikTok than on YouTube. See, I was even denying the blessing that was coming to me because I couldn't believe that without believing my affirmations, I started to see movement. So I just kept going without caring. I was like, I'm just going to show up. I'm just going to be myself and I'm just going to do my job. And then because I was saying I make this amount of money a month, all of a sudden, I started making that amount of money a month. And it was the first month and I was like, no, it's not possible. Then it was the second month and I was like, it's not possible. And then it was the third month and I checked the statements and I was like, I cannot believe I am making the amount of money that I am claiming and I'm making just by affirming, not visualizing, not giving a second thought, not believing in what I'm saying. I'm just repeating this thought only for five minutes a day. That's all I'm doing. And yes, I, I am believing in the law. In the, in the other processes of my life, what I can tell you that I did, I meditate. But I meditate because I like to meditate and I was uh, manifesting other stuff. So I was trying to check my thoughts and trying to feel peaceful and good about myself, trying to stay in the present moment. But these are all topics that I will discuss on Patreon and in other videos. These are a bit, you know, my lifestyle, the way I carved it. But for this specific manifestation, I just affirmed, but I didn't check. I didn't check anything at all. Like I couldn't care less. I was just showing up myself, doing my job and doing what I love. And that made me feel good already. So, and then, because I kept saying, all my videos are going viral. Like, literally, if you see me talking, like, I have this friend of mine, which is a super huge YouTuber in my country. He's got 1 million views. And we were talking and literally came out of my mouth that I was like, um, all my videos are going viral. And back then on YouTube, I had, like, 100 views or at the very least on this new channel. And he looked at me and he was like, no, I know your videos are going viral. And I'm like... He was recognizing that my videos are going viral, but the videos were going viral. So it was so fun how much everyone is you pushed out. And for me, the fact that such a, a person that I admire for his work was recognizing that gave me even more belief in myself that I could do this. So I will thank Gianmarco forever, for, forever for what he did for me and the words that he speak to me. Um, and then I was, I told you guys, like, the video started to go viral on YouTube without me doing anything, without me checking. I just woke up one morning and I was like, how is this possible? And it just happened. Now, now, why do I say, and then I will conclude the video. I'm sorry if it is too long. Why do I say, if you feel it, it will come faster? Because I started YouTube, this new channel, a year ago. So... I had other manifestations that were a lot faster than virality online because I put more belief into it. I think I was more focused on making them happen or actually, I want to word it better, I believe that they were more possible. However, so if you believe in your affirmation, good on you. I think they're going to just manifest faster. However, if you're struggling with belief that you can jump from point A to point Z and it's too much of a big leap for you, it does not matter. It does not matter. If you will assume, it does not matter how much your assumption is false in the present moment. If you will assume and affirm in your head or visualize whatever it's better for you, that something is true for you and you will just persist with lightheartedness because it's like you don't you care and you don't care at the same time i i really believe this guys like maybe it's just my assumption but i believe that if you just say something and you just couldn't care less and you're more like you do it more effortlessly it just it just manifests better but it could be just my assumption so a little bit of disclaimer over there but I, I honestly, I believe everything works. I believe that you cannot do anything wrong. So stop thinking that you're doing anything wrong. So this video is for people that you are affirming and you're not believing your affirmation. Sweetheart, keep affirming. You will see the results. I don't care when you will see the results. I don't believe in divine timing. However, whenever it has to show up, it could be any minute. 
it will show up. Then sweetheart, you are the other person that believes so much in your affirmations and you believe in your manifestation. You do you, you go because you will get manifest for you. Or maybe you're the type of person that you're in the middle. Sometimes you believe in it. Sometimes you don't believe in it. And you're confused. Am I doing something right or wrong? You keep persisting. You keep doing you. You keep doing the visualization. You keep doing the affirmation. Does not matter what you do. You assume that it is true for you. Or maybe you're the type of person, I just assumed it once and maybe it's going to work. Of course it's going to work. This video is just for saying, I don't care what you're doing. You're not doing anything wrong. You will have all your desires and, and possibly even better than what you have imagined. So stop, stop freaking out. Stop creating rules. Stop listening to the teachings and just chill in the knowingness that everything that you assume it's done and open your arms to receive it in whatever shape or form you want to do it. Okay, and you will naturally see movement. A movement is gonna start to make you feel better, and then you're gonna, you know, this is fun, let me do it again. And you're gonna do it again, and you're gonna feel better, and then you're gonna do it again and believe it a little bit more. And then you're gonna believe it a little bit more. And then you're gonna be, and it's all the process of manifestation is gonna be so much fun, but you do not have to believe it immediately if you don't. I didn't, and it happened, and now I'm like, this is fun. Let me do it again. And maybe I will believe it a little bit more. And then let me do it again. And then I will believe it a little bit more. But what I remember throughout all the journey of going viral, I wasn't stressed. I wasn't worried about it. I was having fun all the journey. All the journey, every videos that I made, I had fun. Every person that I talked to, doesn't matter if I had 100 views or 1 million views. I had fun. I was appreciative of the moment. I was so happy that I was being myself. I was so appreciative of the people that were connecting to me. I was so appreciative of people that were even not agreeing with me because I love contrast. I love that people don't agree sometimes with me. I love that I can learn from contrast and I love every single moment of the journey. This is what I learned from my experience. And because in my opinion, I loved every single moment, every single moment of all videos that I made, and I still love it. It got me to the point where I am just by affirming without believing. That's my perspective. I want to know your perspective. I want to know what you think. I want to know if you don't agree with me, as long as, of course, you are respectful. And so many people tell me all the time, like, oh, but you can affirm that everyone loves you and adores you. Of course. That's fine too. However, I don't mind. I don't mind that people have opinion. I don't mind that people challenge my opinion. I told you guys, I don't want to control everyone. I want to live a fun and happy experience. And sometimes seeing people that don't agree with me inspires me to experiment and inspires me to learn more. And I'm so appreciative of contrast. I just am because I don't know. I grow so much in my journey that I don't believe that there is one thing that is right and one thing that is wrong. I don't have preferences anymore. So I listen to everyone and I'm appreciative of what everyone says. But okay, this is a topic for another video. This video is just to say you do not have to believe your affirmation. It, you're not doing anything wrong. Whatever you're doing, if you persist, you're going to see results. You're going to see your desires. I don't care who you are, where you are, what you believe in, your subconscious program. I don't care any of that. If you assume it, it will happen, period. Okay? I love you guys. And I'm so appreciative of every moment that we spend together on YouTube. This has been such a fun experience for me. And from the bottom of my heart, I am so appreciative of all your comments. That's why I read all of them. Okay. I love you guys and see you in the next video and on Patreon as well. Coaching and all the rest, you know the deal. It's in the info box. Love you. Bye.